How's it going guys? Welcome back to another exciting video. And in this video, we're going to go ahead and see how we can actually implement that newsletter sign up. Right now I have VS Code open and basically I opened up a folder called newsletter. And then basically inside of here is where I'm going to go ahead and start implementing this Django backend and our React front end. And then before we can go ahead and like basically do anything, we have to also sign up for active campaign because that's going to be the API that we're communicating with. So Inside of Google, just search for active campaign. And then there you can go ahead and basically find this activecampaign.com. And then this is where we can go ahead and sign up for this email marketing platform. So inside of here, you can sign up for a free trial. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. So I'm going to put in my dummy email, which I'm going to be using for this. And then in my case, it's this John Doe 1357933 at gmail.com. And then I'm going to go ahead and start my free trial. All right, so you end up kind of seeing this. Welcome, what is your name? And then it's not just business to us. We'd love to know who we're working with. So you're working with John. All right, hey John, can we get your phone number? All right, so the industry. All right, so great. What goals would you like to achieve? I wanna achieve all these things. So I'm just gonna click everything, click next. Also here I see that I received some kind of like email that says your active campaign account was like created and stuff. So awesome. So here it says save your unique login link. So this right here is what I'm gonna be utilizing. And then just kind of continuing on with this process. Now I can set up a password, so I'll do that. All right, and here we are. So welcome to active campaign. Let's go ahead and get started. So first of all, we have to like verify this. So verify your domain. So send verification email. So let's do that. So I should receive that inside of my email. Then I can verify my account. So let's go ahead, click verify. And then that should kind of complete this whole process. All right, here we are. So we've um, verified our domain and then you have to provide your mailing address because legally you have to have like some kind of mailing address. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's add this, beautiful. Then you can import contacts and do a couple other things. And yeah, these other things I'm not gonna worry about right now. So let's do a little overview of Active Campaign and how this works. So one thing we're gonna be doing with the API is we're gonna be adding contacts. So right now we just see like the actual account that we created. So the John Doe 1357933. Three. And then we can also have other contacts. So this is where we're gonna see these contacts. You can also have tags. So that's another useful thing. So let's go ahead and see this manage tags. All right, and here we are. So you can basically add tags through here. So in our case, I can like create some kind of tag that can help us keep track of someone who basically sign up for our newsletter or email list through like our ebook funnel or something. So I can do like free, or it's not typing in here. My internet's very slow. There we go, free ebook. There we go, so I can now add this tag. And also let me close this up. So add tags. And there we go. Now I have a tag. And then this is something I can attach to someone whenever they basically sign up for my email list. And then this is the kind of thing I can do on my Django backend endpoint. I can go ahead and like add this tag to someone. Now the, the inconvenient thing with the active campaign API is like I don't like use this tag name to like add this tag. I have to use the actual ID. And that's kind of like a tricky thing because like there's no way to actually see like what's the ID of this thing. But essentially the first tag you make is going to have an ID of one. If I add another one, that one's going to have an ID of two. And then the tricky thing is if let's say I were to like delete this right now and then add another tag, that tag would not have the ID of one. It would have the ID of two. So it's a little bit inconvenient. The fact that you can't like actually see that. And I think that's a little bit of a flaw. It would be nice if like, if you clicked on like edit or something, or like if you could like view it, you could see the ID, but sadly you can't. For the other things that we're doing, you like can see that data. So that's kind of nice at least, but this is just like a small like flaw, I guess, with this sort of application that I found. And then here you have campaigns. So campaigns are quite useful because you can send out email campaigns to your different lists and stuff. So that's one area that you'd be working in quite a bit if you have some kind of like email marketing software like this one. And then yeah, from here you can just click on like create your campaign. Also, this is all loading very slowly, which is a little bit annoying, but I'll go ahead and wait for that. So here we are, you can create your first campaign and then you can essentially do that with this sort of thing. You also have automations, which I'm gonna take a look at in a second. And then another useful thing is lists. So I can go ahead, click on this. 
All right, and here we are. So currently we see we have this master contact list. So this is just where I can like add everyone who like subscribes through any of my funnels. So I can go ahead and click on this. And then once you click on this, this is where you can kind of like identify the list ID because essentially to add someone to a list through the active campaign API, you don't use the list name, you use the list ID. And this ID, if you take a look at our URL, you can actually see it right here. So list ID is equal to one, and then also like the status is equal to one. So this right here is a useful thing because whenever we create a list, we can go ahead and click on it and then check out our URL to actually see what the ID of it is. That way we can use that inside of our Django backend to know like which ID should we use to add someone to a particular list. All right, so let me go back now. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and add a list. That way I have some kind of like separate list for this like funnel where people are gonna download say like an ebook. All right here, recommended lists for companies related to software. Lists are the broadest way to group together contacts who have opted in to receive your emails. So let's go ahead and maybe create our own list. And then I'm gonna call this something like free ebook list or something. So I'm gonna go ahead, add that. So that way I have this whole separate list for managing these people who wanna download my free ebook. So now I can go ahead and click on this. Currently I have no contacts inside of here. And then you can already see like right here in the URL that we have this list ID of two. So this is something we're going to be making use of in order to add contacts to this particular list. All right, so let me go back because this is all very slow. All right, and then the next thing I wanna go ahead and take a look at is automations. So that should be right over here, this automations tab. So I'm gonna click on that and we're gonna go ahead and take a look at this. So these are very, very handy. All right, then while this is loading, I'm just gonna kind of quickly explain how these work. So basically you have like triggers and then when one of these triggers is hit, it's gonna go ahead and like begin this whole automation process and actually like add someone inside of your automation. So here we can go ahead and like create an automation. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then here we are, we can start from scratch, let's say. So I'm gonna click continue. All right, and here we are. So I can start off by adding some kind of trigger. So a handy one is subscribes to a list. So that's what I'm gonna make use of. There's also other handy ones, like let's say tag is added. So if you like add a tag to a particular user, then that can be used as a trigger. Also like tag is removed or maybe like they unsubscribe from a list. Maybe you can send them something, I don't know. So anyway, this is the one that I want, subscribes to a list. And then you can see there's a bunch of different triggers. So you can make so many different like automations or like abandons cart, makes a purchase and so forth. You can go on and on and basically just take a look at all of these. So let's continue subscribes to an email list. So then here I can select the list. I want my free ebook list. So when someone subscribes to that, then we're going to go ahead and run this automation. I want to run it once and then um, segment the contacts entering this automation. So this is something you can do as well. And that's something I'm not gonna do. So I'm just gonna go ahead, put in this data and then click add start. All right, and then here we have our next step and I wanna send an email. So I'm gonna go ahead, click on this and then you do not have any emails to send, create an email. So let's go ahead, create an email and then the email name. This will not be visible to your contacts. So let's go ahead, do my John Doe account, then create. All right, then when you click on that, you can go ahead and start working on this. And then as for like the email name, you can like call it whatever you want. I just put in like the actual email. It doesn't really matter what you put there. So I can go ahead, start from scratch, or I can have like some kind of template that I use. So maybe like some kind of like coupon code or limited time offer. So this is quite handy that they give you like all these different things. And then I'm just gonna go ahead, start from scratch. And then I'll do standard, let's say, or maybe text only. I'll do the standard one. And then the sender details. And then here I can put the email subject. So I can do like, uh, let's see, what, what's a good subject? So get your free ebook action required. So that's gonna be my subject line. Gonna click continue. All right, so I'm gonna start off by removing this image. So you can just hover over it, go to this gear icon, and then you can click delete this. So I'm gonna go ahead, do that. Are you sure? Yes, let's get rid of that. And then here you can put like whatever you want. So I can like say edit this text input. So you can input like a bunch of different things. You can put like text blocks, buttons, videos, and line breaks, like all kinds of things you can put inside of here. So the next thing is to basically remove all this and replace it with what I want. Now, for whatever reason, when I'm recording, 
like this is super slow and it's just not letting me do it so i'm just gonna go ahead and skip ahead to where i actually have like my text inputted here that way it'll save some time oh now it actually let me select it so that's interesting but anyway i'm just gonna skip ahead to where i have all of this kind of put in and then we're gonna go from there all right so here we are now i've kind of like pasted in that text so i have like hey first name so this right here is how you can bring in that first name piece of data so that's something that the user is going to go ahead and pass and then we're going to use that when we create the contact and then we can extract it like this so we can have like a more personalized email and then here's like all those different steps and then you basically can also like make links by like highlighting this stuff and then you'll see like a little link button where you can go ahead and input a link and then you can also change the color so once again because like i'm recording it's not letting me like do this for whatever reason so i'm just gonna like pause the recording and then i'm just gonna like show this when it's actually like working all right, so this is essentially how it's gonna look when you like highlight this thing. You can go select a color here, so you can change it to some kind of like blue color. And then you can click this like link button. And then from there you can put like an actual link. So let's say like a link to the Facebook page. And then you can highlight this text here. Do the same thing put like a link to let's say some kind of like facebook community and then you can highlight this link change that to be blue and then adjust the link to be like a link to the actual page where they can download the ebook so that's essentially what you have there then you can just click on this next so i'm not going to actually input these links but that's essentially how you would do it i'm just not doing it because this is running very slow for whatever reason when i'm recording i've never had it be this slow all right and then finally we end up at some page like this where we have like our subject we have the from email and then we have like the uh, message name so maybe this message name i'll adjust to be something that makes a little more sense i'll do like initial ebook sign up email or something i think maybe something like this might make a little more sense then we have the address we have all these different options so you can track when someone like opens and reads it you can also have like link tracking which is handy if you have links inside of the email which ideally you would and then you can also set Send a test email so here we can have um, the email that we're gonna test this with so I'm gonna go ahead and then your test email address is the same as your from email address because of this you may not receive your test email so let's go ahead and adjust this to be something else so I'll use this email instead my other dummy email so let's send this and then let's see if we receive it all right so I opened up this email account and now I'm just gonna go ahead and wait until we receive that test email and then uh, we should basically see it exactly how we like inputted everything in there so actually I see it here sent inside of this promotions area so I'm just gonna like move it to my primary area so you can do some things inside of these like bodies to make it like actually appear in someone's primary email there's like some little like tricks and stuff but I'm not gonna like do that kind of stuff in here I'm just gonna have it like so so here we see like the actual like text body like hey and then here it should say John Doe like the first name but we don't see anything because it's like a test email this is not an actual contact so that's why this is empty then we see like you can now go ahead download the awesome free book we have all the steps and then you'd also have like these ideally as links and then I showed you how to do that. So yeah, now we know how to kind of like set this whole process up and then the final step is just to click this finish and then you're good to go. And then our final step is to actually like implement this kind of stuff inside of an application using the Active Campaign API. So this video is getting a little long, so um, we basically saw a whole overview of how Active Campaign works. We saw like the whole contact area where you're gonna have contacts when they're added. We saw where, you're, where you can have like your different email lists and where you can like manage that. We saw how you can add tags to different contacts. And then we also saw how to make an automation. So now we have this automation in place and it's basically gonna be triggered whenever someone enters our email list for the free ebook. And then here you can see like just how slow all of this is. It's driving me a little crazy, but that's all right. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and put a pause in this video. And then in the next video, we're gonna go ahead and start actually implementing this application where we're gonna implement our React front end, our Django back end, and see how we can basically make use of the Active Campaign API to actually automate this whole process inside of an application so i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed this video uh, subscribe to the channel if you like this kind of content and want to see more also hit that notification bell if you want to receive notifications whenever a new video comes out also i've got links in the description if you want to go ahead like the facebook page join the Facebook group and then that way you can reach out to me personally if you have some kind of questions generally on web development, mobile app development, or maybe a question on some kind of tutorial that I've created. So you can just go ahead, feel free to reach out to me and then I can help you out. So anyway, that'll be everything and I'll see you guys in the next video.